got over to our next destination. Um, I can't pronounce it, Duntulum or whatever it's called, Castle. It's a um, castle on the edge of a cliff. Um, behind us there, that's a hotel for it, that's all being closed down and abandoned. So I'm going to try and see if we can get access inside there and have a little meet around because it looks all old and very healthy. So it's pretty cool. ruined from back in the year. Um, so yeah, that's so what's up there. Hi everyone. Uh, so today we thought we would give Marlon a bit of a break and you have me doing a little voiceover for you. Um, so as you can see, we are heading down um, the Trottenish coastline up towards Duntulum Castle there. Um, and if you look at um, the hill surrounding, um, in the Discover and Sky handbook, um, it's about histories and legends, Jonathan MacDonald um, relates the story of this hill. So years ago, justice was passed on a suspected criminal by putting the person in a barrel and rolling him down the hill. If the suspect managed to survive this ordeal, he was allowed to go free, but if injuries were sustained, he was taken to another hill to sit in judgment before the chief. Um, so yeah, it's not exactly um, the most ideal form of punishment, but if you carry on looking, um, you may see the bay in the background, and that is the bay that's overlooking to the Isle of Lewis. Um, the area here was first fortified in the Iron Age, and it was later fortified further by the Norse. Um, the first castle here was built roughly in about the 14th century. As the camera pans around here, you can see that I'm investigating on the ground. Um, and that's just because there was loads of little pretty shells. Um, they were like spiral shells. Um, so I don't know if they were from snails or uh, they were a bit too small for crabs. But they were really, really pretty. There was like some that had like, um, like blue and white and there was some that were black and white and had spots on and some had like spiral shapes. Um, but the beach was absolutely littered with them. Um, they were just really, really pretty and stunning. I'm walking up now. Uh, hill. As we get to the top of the hill here and um, we reach the cairn and this cairn is to commemorate the MacArthur's who were the McDonald's Pipers. So the island of Skye um, was actually fought over between two clans and um, the McDonald's and the Clouds. For the earliest records of Duntullen Castle the um, McLeods were in possession um, but by the end of Duntullen's life um, the actual castle was in possession of the McDonald's. So in 1880, it was recorded um, that Duntulum Castle was actually seven stories high. Um, and since the records of 1880, um, the castle has slowly become in disrepair over the years. Um, last recorded um, bit of the curtain wall actually fell into the um, fell off the cliffs into the sea in 1990. Years ago, so we've been um, 
people, soldiers, cooking. So tell me about Surprised me a pretty cold here. We don't know if this was the original height. Then it could have been high or low. Not really good though, is it? Not for really the sure second I got. video you'll actually hear Marlon talking about a local legend that we came across while we were driving up to Duntulm Castle. So according to the legend the castle was actually abandoned after the death of the son of the MacLeod chieftain. The legend says that the infant son fell out of a window while being in the care of his nursemaid and now as punishment the nursemaid was actually set adrift in the North Atlantic in a small boat and the castle was then abandoned. So that's enough of my ramblings on Duntone Castle. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my voice, but I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to hand back over to Marlon and I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video in peace. Bye! Then, but me falling on my ass, I'm there enough. So, yeah, um, definitely going in ruins on my back or something. Back in the D, I don't know why you say it, I don't say it like that, I just I can't help it. Um, so yeah, when I, um, I think I read back in the day, it's, um, it was like from like the 1600 or the 1800. Um, the McDonald clan was, um, they were the main clan on the island and they used this as their kind of uh, HQ, if you want to call it that. Their main um, um, barracks or the main castle, whichever way you want to say it like, but they were, um, that was theirs. And um, we read it well, not too sure if it was um, if this is true or not. But they're saying apparently um, one of the, I don't know, someone fell out of a window or something like that. I think a nurse got pushed out of a window, or back in the, that day, someone got pushed out of a window and um, they fell down to the um, rock below and died. And then apparently the castle got abandoned. Um, again, I'm not too sure how true that is. Because again, um, back in the day, a castle like this here wouldn't really be getting abandoned on a spot like this here, so you can see it. But, um, but only, you know, you're coming up, you can see for miles, really. Um, 
ya. Difference. Lovely aim, you've got windy ball. It is lovely. Yeah, there it is. Let me copy all together then. 